and a good evening as we come to you from Turner Field in Atlanta as MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is about to get underway. Tonight, a couple of National League Eastern Division teams get ready to face off as it'll be the Florida Marlins taking on the Atlanta Braves. And hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with you as we get set for what promises to be an entertaining ball game. Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler are by my side. And Dave, we turn to you. What's the one thing we can watch for in this one? Well, one guy that will make his presence felt one way or the other is Mark Teixeira. I mean, here's a guy that's already put together a number of monster seasons. And here's the scary part. He's only just now coming into the prime of his career. He's got to be a serious MVP contender in the years to come. Leading things off is Cameron Maben. He'll be out in center field. Following him in the two hold is Dan Ugla at second base. In the three spot is Hanley Ramirez, the shortstop. Cortez will bat fourth. He's behind the plate. Jeremy Hermida is the right fielder hitting fifth. Josh Willingham will be at first base and hit sixth. Cody Ross will be in the number seven spot and play left field. Jose Castillo will hit eighth and play third. Scott Olson will be on the mound for the Marlins and back number nine. And on the mound to face these guys, the left-hander Chuck James. James has established himself as a reliable middle of the rotation guy the past few seasons as he's turned in back-to-back 11-win -back campaigns. Still just 26 years old, he could be in for even better things in 2008. A look at the Braves' alignment behind him, led nowadays by a first-time Gold Glove Award winner, Jeff Francoeur, in right field. Into the box is the leadoff hitter, Cameron Maybin, and we are ready for baseball. Cold strike on the game's first pitch as we bring you this one here tonight. Maddie's living dangerously by working his fastball up in the zone like that. Now here it comes. And he takes this one high, one and one. Two straight fastballs to start things out tonight. He wants to establish speed early. liner but this will get foul it's a ball and two strikes now a hard liner towards short but this is yanked down out there at shortstop for the first out so one gone now for Dan Ugla Dan Ugla Now here's the first pitch. And he takes ball one. Boy, and already here in the top of the first, we're getting a sense that he's going to have a tight strike zone behind the dish. Here's a changeup that's right there, one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Swung on and missed. One and two now. And this is on the ground toward the hole. And they'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Hanley Ramirez will stand in now. And he enters working on a nine-game hitting streak. Lays off there, 1 0. Out of play off to the right, it's 1 and 1. Bring the key. 
One and two now as that's in there at the knees. A few pitches to play with now. Let's see if they can get him to fish at something. And this is on the ground to third. Throw on to Teixeira is going to be in time, and with it, the inning is over. So a relatively routine start for the top of the first here. And now the Braves will step up for their first opportunity to score. And now the starting lineup for the host Braves looks like this. Josh Anderson is the leadoff man. He's in center field. Matt Diaz bats second in left field. In the three-hole, the powerful Mark Teixeira, he's at first. Scott Thorman, the third baseman, is in the cleanup spot. Yunel Escobar bats fifth. He'll play short. Jeff Francoeur bats sixth and plays right. Kelly Johnson is the second baseman. He bats number seven. Clint Sammons will be behind the plate and hit eighth. And batting ninth doing the pitching is Chuck James. They'll be opposed by the young left-hander Scott Olson. There aren't too many out there that have 68 big league starts under their belt before their 24th birthday, but Olson is one of them. And even though the numbers weren't all that extraordinary last year, these guys think he has the makeup to be a big winner at this level. And in the field, Louisville Slugger shows us that the Marlins will align themselves like this. Josh Anderson will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. And they start him out away with a cold strike. And here's a fastball called for strike two. Just no way to even try and get extended on that fastball down there. Now the pitch. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. And he takes very close to the inside corner here. Two and two, though. Weekly down the line, a foul ball. And the slider misses here, so he runs the count full three and two. And he takes ball four, so the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Matt Diaz will take his first cuts of the ball game here. Now a ball rolled slowly down the third baseline. But this lands foul for the first strike. Now he gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. Ramirez. Relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. Mark Teixeira will dig in, and you see he enters play on top of the National League and runs batted in. Ball 1 0. Now a ball hit hard but fouled as this one forces the third base coach to dance out of danger. And good time 
contact there as this is hit high and deep to right center. And he's able to track this one down on the run for route number two. Takes this one the opposite way and gave it a pretty good ride, but good range that time to haul it in. Scott Thorman will take his cuts now. And this is low, ball one. And if you're going to miss with a fastball, that's the spot to do it. Fastball in there for a strike. 92 on the radar gun that time. Working the inside corner with the fastball. Let's see if they stay right there. Goes the other way as this is line to left. And he's going to get to this thing on the run. And a fine play there will end the inning. So it's no runs, no hits, no errors. And a runner left on. We'll move to the second now at Turner Field with no score. Cortez leads things off now in the top half of the second. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. And he misses with it, one and one. Swing and a ground ball to first. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Yeah, this is tougher than it looks for a pitcher covering first, but he handled that pretty darn well right there. So the leadoff man retired here, and that'll bring up Jeremy Hermida. And that misses low and away, ball one. Here's a fastball low, and he's behind 2-0. and oh. Pretty easy to lay off it when it's down that low. Still looking for our first hit in the ballgame. Three and zero. Oh. And now on three and zero, oh, we'll see if Freddie lets him swing away here. That one's in there. Three and one. Misses for ball four. Well, it didn't look to me like they wanted to give him anything to hit here. Josh Willingham will step in, working on a nice five-game hitting streak. He's ready now, the pitch. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. No score here as we play inning number two.
Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. And if they try and come back in with another fastball, I wouldn't be surprised if he's waiting on that baby. Ready with the 2-1. Swing and a hard grounder down the line at third. To Johnson for one. On to Teixeira, and it's in time for the double play. The side is retired. So they go down without a whimper here. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Yunel Escobar will start things off in the bottom of the second. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Late on the fastball, though, as this one skied out towards straightaway right. And he will get there as he puts this one away on the run for the first out of the inning. Jeff Francoeur will get his first cuts here. Here's a cold strike about thigh high, nothing in one. Getting ahead, always a key when you're facing a guy like this. Bottom of the second here with no score. Now a changeup in on the hands that evens it at one and one. Looks like it had him fooled a bit, but it couldn't hit the target. One one pitch on the way. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Not often you're late on the changeup. He's got to make up his mind quicker. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Doesn't matter how hard you throw it, a well-placed heater is still the best pitch in baseball. And look where this thing is, right on the inside corner. That's a tough pitch. Kelly Johnson will step in now. Ball one. Yeah, tough to elevate on a fastball down there. That's a good spot to miss. And it runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 and now. And here's a case where you can just sit on fastball. If you don't get one, just take it. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Swing and a liner towards second. And this will get over his glove as he couldn't quite get up all the way. It's a base hit. Clint Sammons will get his first shot at it here. Called strike on the corner. He didn't like that call. I don't blame him. And with a catcher at the plate, he's saying, you better give us that strike. From the belt, the pitch. And that misses one and one. And they'll need to run it in a little bit more to make that thing effective. A runner on first with two away. And he'll look at a fastball here that's close, but it's two and one now. Got to look to try and slap that thing the other way. J. 
just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. And too many three ball counts early in the ball game will just drive that pitch count up. And this is swung on and pretty well hit. Out to deep left center field. And he's able to get there on the long run and he covered a lot of ground there as the side is retired. Cody Ross is ready to go here as we begin the third. And that misses ball one. Now the 1 0 pitch. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Now a ball hit sharply down the line at third. Base hit. Jose Castillo steps in now. To right field. And he will reach up to track this one down on the run as he's able to keep this one in his sights for the first out. Scott Olson will take a long look down here as he may be bunting to avoid the double play. Tries to get the bunt down here, but this is foul, and we'll see if he tries it again. And they'll try to stay out of the double play here as he lays this one down. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Started him out with a fastball, fastball, then shoo, put the brakes on that changeup. Hop along, partner. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring in the center fielder, Cameron Mabin. Swing and a hot shot down the line. Base hit. Dan Ugla will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. And this is certainly a key at bat here in the early going. And that's in there as well, 0-2 now. Good chance for him to strand a couple of runners here. Got a few pitches to work with. And he misses there, 1-2. Oh, and how disciplined do you have to be to lay off that pitch on 0-2? And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. Foul ball. And 
and that misses two and two. And I think you've got to throw a strike here because you do not want to go three and two. He's ready, now the pitch. And an off-speed pitch, swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Chuck James makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Good setup there on the inside part of the plate. If they're smart, they'll keep trying to lock him up in there. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Popped up towards the seats as this gets out of play. Now a fastball. Look out as he has to duck out of harm's way there. And this one's about eye level. And I can tell you from experience, that one's no fun as a hitter. Now the pitch. Now another pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats. So the count will stay put at one and two. Now the fastball here is swung on and grounded foul. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. Here he comes again, one, two. Goes the other way as this is down the line at third. Oh, and it's over his head. Josh Anderson will dig in. Drew a walk his first time around. Fastball ran in and got him. Ouch, bang. Matt Diaz will stand in. He reached on a fielder's choice his first time. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. Can't lay off now down 0-2. Got to open up that zone a little bit and protect. None out, runners at first and second. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. How about another look at this swing? Kids, shield your eyes from this one. That's horrible. So first and second with one man gone. And here's the dangerous Mark Teixeira. Now the first pitch. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. And he lays off for ball one. Lays off the slider that time, two and one. Yeah, he's trying to get it there on the outside corner. It's just not coming back far enough. A two-one offering. 
in there, and it's even now, two and two. Fastball is outside, and it's full now, three and two. And now you wonder if Bobby Cox will send his guys on three and two. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. And Ermito play this one on the bounce, a base hit. And a relay home, the tag, and he is out at the plate. And so much for our first run of the ball game. Well, it's still early, but in a tie ball game, he's going to try and be aggressive here, and it doesn't pay off as he's nailed at home plate. Scott Thorman will stand in. A line-out victim his first time. And this is taken outside for ball one. Not a bad spot to miss. You'd love to get him to reach for something. Swing and a miss for strike one. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And that misses 2-1. and one. inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here three and one and now he's really got to reach back and find it here and he misses with it for ball four so the bases will be loaded now with two away So the bases are loaded here, two men gone, and that'll bring in the shortstop, Yunel Escobar. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time, ball one. Yeah, trying to get him to reach for one, but he held back. Gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. And that's high and off the plate, two and one. And this is a huge early test right here. Here he comes on two and one. Here's a ball swung on and lofted in the air out toward right center. Hermida is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Braves will strand three. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Hanley Ramirez will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Uh, look low to me, too. And that misses downstairs for a ball, one and one. Now the one, one. He tried to get that one airborne, but it's one and two. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. And the 
fastball here is hit on the ground but foul. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball to third. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Cortez will stand in. He grounded out his first time. This is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. And that's past the diving infielder for a base hit. So a runner at first with one man gone. And that'll bring in the right fielder, Jeremy Ermita. Runner goes for second. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. Is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. Swing and a hard liner to short. And that's through for a base hit. And that'll drive in the run from second as they're on the board first, one to nothing. Well, it took a little while, but we're finally off the schneid in this one as that base hit brings in our first run of the game. Josh Willingham will stand in. Now a ball grounded is short. This could be two. Dive, but it's by him for a base hit. Cody Ross will be the batter. Here's the first offering. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. And he's got that thing falling right through the zone here. Runners are at first and second with one away. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. And he misses two and one. And that's what that four-seamer will do. It has a tendency to really rise at the end. The two-one. And this is on the ground to first. Could be two. To Escobar for one. On to first, but not in time as he beats it out. Jose Castillo will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. And he runs that one high and tight for ball one. And now if you can get this guy here, you'll be in a position where you'll have the pitcher leading off in the top of the fifth. Swing and a miss as he gets this fastball by him. It's one and one. You can see just not getting the hands through the zone quick enough to tackle that fastball in the inside half. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. And this is swung on and bounced up the center of the diamond. And that is through into center field. A base hit. A run in. The throw to third. And he is safe on a close play. Scott Olson will dig in here.
Here's the first pitch to him. Ball one. He's got to wait for one to come down here. Runners at the corners, two men out. Fastball at 88 that time, a ball and a strike. Now a swing and an easy ground ball to first. Teixeira just does this himself at first, and that'll do it. So it's two runs on four base hits, no errors, and a couple of men left on. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The Marlins lead it two to nothing. Jeff Francoeur will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Now here's the first pitch. And that's taken high and outside for ball one. And that definitely is a tempting pitch to go after. Good instincts to lay off. And that misses low and inside. Two balls and no strikes. Very unusual to see him lay off back-to-back -back pitches because he's normally up there hacking. And he gets this fastball over. It's two and one. Looked like he got fooled on the speed there. Two and two. Boy, that sucker's moving right there. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Throw on to first by Ramirez. Takes care of him. One away. Oh, and he'll get right up into the umpire's face to protest that last call. Be careful here. You can see him pointing at something. Don't know quite what he's referring to, but he'd better not say much more. Kelly Johnson will stand in. Base hit his first time around. Broadway that time strike one man he's sitting on a tee for you you got some lumber use it and he gets a piece of it here but it's chopped foul and a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two strike pitch and chops it foul Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. And they obviously think he'll chase a fastball with two strikes because they keep going to it. One out, nobody on. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. Yeah, almost strike three, but I don't think he broke the wrist, so that's a good call. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. Third walk of the game now, and although none of them have scored just yet, this is a good job by the catcher to come out and make sure that everything is still okay. Clint Sammons digs in at the plate.
deep, heading toward the corner and left. Dives, and he hangs on for the out. Wow. Chuck James will take his cuts now. Lays off 1-0. One zero pitch now, and that one misses upstairs. Two and zero, and that thing looked like it was still rising at the end. Two zero is a fastball, not close. He's behind three and zero now. This is a terrible time to lose your command. That's the pitcher up there. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. In there, and it's full three and two. And he's thinking, yeah, you'll call that a strike when I'm at the plate, but not when I'm on the mound. Swing as he hits this one into the air. Well, this will be foul off to the right out of play. And an off speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. So they pick up no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left on. We played four full. The Marlins lead this one two to nothing. Cameron Maben will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Fouled back. Fouled straight back. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. One away now for the Marlins in their half of the fifth, and that'll bring in the powerful second baseman, Dan Ugla. Starts things here with a changeup for a cold strike. Yeah, and when you get strike one on the corner, you can expand that strike zone right away. Hit hard towards second, but right to the second baseman, and that's the second out. Hanley Ramirez will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. And James goes to the fastball to start the at-bat. It's 0-1. Still without a hit so far, so he'll need to get one soon if he wants to get his streak to 10 games. Now here's the pitch. And that's a called strike at the letters. Though that looked high from here, it's 0-2 now. Man, that might be a hometown discount right there. Boy, tough to lay off, but he's glad he did. It's one and two now. And if you throw enough fastballs in succession, guys are going to time it, so be careful. Oh. 
And that misses, and we're even at two and two. Yeah, and when you miss wild like that, it certainly does not help you set up your next pitch. James working on 68 pitches to this point. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. One, two, three go the Marlins, but they hold a 2-0 lead. Josh Anderson will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Tried to go out of the zone there as he reaches to foul this one off to the left. 0-1. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Here it comes. Shooting for the outside corner, but he missed it 1-2. and two. And he'll sling that thing across the strike zone, but he can't nip the corner. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Matt Diaz will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch coming. Too high, 1 and 0. Now it's 2 and 0. Oh. Trying to work him down the zone. That's just where you need to keep that fastball. And a good eye that time to lay off the fastball. It's 3 and 0. Oh. And down by a couple of runs. I think you get the red light here. Hit hard but foul. Pitch on the way. Ball four. Mark Teixeira will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. Ground ball to third, and they could get two. To Ugla for one. Scott Thorman will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. and And here's his fastball for a called strike one, and he's hitting an even 90 on the gun. Now the 1-1 one one pitch. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. So five shutout innings for him thus far. Five innings complete. The Marlins on top, two to nothing. And before the Marlins take their turn here in the sixth inning, let's take a moment to check their in-game box score through five innings. It's presented by Upper Deck. Cortez will get things started here in the top of inning number six. And 
and a strike at the knees. More like at the shins, but it's nothing in one. And as a catcher at the plate, he's thinking, you better call that both ways. And a foul ball straight back. Now here's the pitch. And oh, strike three called on a fastball that looked inside from here, but that's out number one. Jeremy Hermida will step in, an RBI single this last time around. Line to the right side. But that'll land foul, strike one. The pitch. And a swing, and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd, foul. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. Taken there by Escobar. Throw to first gets Hermita as he's set down for the second out. Josh Willingham will step in. A base hit in his last time. And here's the first pitch. Now a ball hit hard towards center. And that is in there for a two-out base knock. Maybe an important two-out hit for him there, as at the very least, that breaks a string of six straight. He'd retired. Cody Ross will stand in. He grounded into a fielder's choices last time. into left and this is tracked down on the run and with that the side is retired so no runs on a hit here no errors one man left on the five six and seven slots do up in the bottom of inning number six the marlins lead it two to nothing low scoring game as we get another look at the in-game box score and much like the previous one we saw really not a whole lot to look at offensively thus far Yunel Escobar will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. And a change up here as this ball's grounded foul. takes the other way out to fairly deep right. Hermida has to back up a bit, but he has it shy of the wall for the first out. Jeff Francoeur will dig in. 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. And now this is swung on and pulled down the third base line. And I'm going to tell you, that is an incredible play. Well, they just can't buy a break in this game. It's bad enough being shut out, but when the defense is robbing base hits from you left and right, it's about time to wave the white flag. Kelly Johnson will stand in. Base on balls his last time. First pitch on the way. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. And a fastball mm, just misses. It's one and one. And I've been pretty surprised at their inability to score so far. This is normally a potent offensive team. 
Swing and he pops him up. Looks to be playable in foul ground. Cortez will put this one away and the side is retired. And that's six shutout innings thus far as he's been very difficult to solve. Seventh inning coming up. Florida's out in front, two to nothing. New pitcher coming on now. It's the Hawaiian-born right-hander Tyler Yates that'll make an appearance here. Jose Castillo will step in now. out of the way there so the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning Scott Olson will stand in in what would appear to be a sacrifice situation here showing bunt here but he takes ball one and with a shutout going through the first six innings no thought of a pinch hitter here And he pulls back the bunt attempt, 2-0. Well, judging by his release point there, he just doesn't look like he's totally warm yet. And he squares and bunts this one hard. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. Cameron Mabin will step in with a big opportunity to get that insurance run home from second. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. And, and you can see he's trying to pull everything. You need an opposite field approach here. Runner at second here with one man out. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. And past the diving infielder, that's a base hit. The throw to the plate. And not nearly in time as the run scores easily. Dan Ugla will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. Off the plate and low here, ball one. And these guys have been very patient with that slider away. They have not chased very often. He just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Yeah, not a lot he can do with that fastball. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. From the belt, kicks and deals. Now a fastball swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Diaz is back to the warning track, though, as he gloves it for the second out. Hanley Ramirez will try again, 0 for 3 thus far. Hit hard down the right field line. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. And he gets him to go after 102 as this is popped in the air toward the left side of the infield. Escobar is there, and the side is retired. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. Seventh inning stretch time here in Atlanta. The Marlins lead this one three to nothing. Clint Sammons will get another shot after he was robbed of a hit on a gorgeous play his last time. And he 
Here's a fastball called for strike one. And now you just got to worry about getting on base. That tying run still in the hole. In on the hands that time, one and one. And you'd love these eight and nine guys to get something going here before the lineup turns over. One one on the way. Got him to reach for it there as this is grounded to short. Throw on to first by Ramirez takes care of him, one away. Still a few innings to go here, but it would appear he's in line to win his third game of the year. Chipper Jones will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. just blows the fastball by him for strike one. And these guys are making the task a lot easier going after a lot of first pitches. And the pitch. Comes back with a fastball again as he's in control 0-2. And that strike zone's starting to expand a bit here in the late going. That misses one and two. Bases are empty, one man out. And now pitch on the way. And here's one that barely misses off the inside corner, two and two. just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. Yeah, that's part of the game. I'll bet he'll think twice about leaning out over the plate now. The 3-2 pitch. And he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. And he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Josh Anderson will be the batter. Fastball in there for a called strike. And against a guy like this, you get that first pitch fastball, you better be hacking. Runners on first with one down. And now he turns on a fastball here and sends it to fairly deep right field. Under this one is Hermida as he puts it away for out number two. Matt Diaz was stand in, base on balls his last time. Runner at first, chipper, now the pitch. And that misses for ball one. That home plate umpire is hearing it in both ears now. And a slider stays outside and he falls behind 2-0. And, and on 2-0, and you should probably be taking here. You've got to have base runners. Hit on the ground down the line to third. But a foul ball, and it's two and one now. Now the 2 1 pitch. Now a swing and a ball pulled down the line to third. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two.
And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. The runner at first has got to make sure he's going to the plate before he breaks. Mark Teixeira would be next. Full count pitch on its way. Fouled back. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. And this is swung on and bounced out to Ugla at second. And a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. Seven shutout innings for him thus far as he's really been in control here. Eighth inning coming up. The Marlins lead it three to nothing. Manny Acosta is on and he'll take over on the mound. Cortez. Cortez will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. And that swung on and missed for strike one. 97 right out of the bullpen. And they go away here. It's a cold strike. Nothing in two. for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. Jeremy Hermida will stride in, grounded out his last time through. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. has him looking silly here. It's 0-2. Pretty good movement on that pitch by the rookie. It fooled him badly. Take something off, but it's 1-2 and two now. And the changeup low is one of the toughest pitches to lay off of. You just want to crush that thing. Low and inside with the breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit. The 2 2 coming. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. A couple of good pitching performances by both clubs here. 3 0 our score as you get a look there at the inning by inning recap through the first seven and change. Josh Willingham will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. And he gets ahead 0-1. Bases are empty here with two men out. And Willingham watches that one miss, a ball and a strike. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. Yeah, and that's a good spot to try to get somebody to pop the ball up. Swing and a bullet to the right side. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. Cody Ross will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around.
And that's cut on and missed 0 1. He's set now the pitch. Down the line, but this will kick foul. No, let's grab. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. And they obviously want to work him away as that's three straight on the outside part of the plate. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Florida's out in front, three to nothing. Mark Teixeira will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. Foul ball straight back. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Yeah, with the three, four, and five guys due up here in the eighth, the time would appear to be now to get this comeback rolling. Now the one, one. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. Tough fastball to lay off on one and two, but he did, and it's two and two now. Yeah, and once you see a guy three or four times in a game, it's easy to see patterns in how they pitch you. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. Sets the 2-2 pitch. Late swing as this is laced down the line. A dive, and oh, he can't hang on. Ball three. Three and two now. Oh, and these two guys are locked in a battle now. Just does stay alive as this is foul back. Fairly well, heading high and deep toward right center. And he's going to get there to make a fine running catch, and there's your first out of the inning. Scott Thorman will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch coming. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Just got to find some way to get on base here. And he goes the other way with a fastball as this is hit well out toward deep left field. Ross is going to have room, though, as he backs up to put it away, and there are two men gone. Can't ask for much more out of a starting pitcher. Working on a two-hit shutout right now. Yunel Escobar will try again, 0 for 3 thus far. And he looked like he lost his release point on that fastball. It's 1-0. A swing and a bouncing ball back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Yeah. 
So it's a runner at first with two men out. And making his way in is the right fielder, Jeff Francoeur. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. Yeah, where guys start missing up late in the ball game, it can sometimes be a warning flag. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. the other way with it hit well but this is a foul ball he set now the pitch and a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit and you don't want hitters to fall into that comfort zone up there so a good idea to run the fastball in that time And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two-strike pitch and chops it foul. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. Dive, but it's just past his outstretched glove for a base hit. Big spot here. First and second, two men gone. And stepping in now is the second baseman, Kelly Johnson. Swing and a hot shot toward third. Base hit. The run is in. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Justin Miller will be the new pitcher. Brian McCann will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Omar Infante will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Reaches out, but he can't get it. It's nothing in one. And the rally caps are out in force now. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. And now this is where the rubber meets the road. You've got to bear down here. Here's a ground ball to first. A flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. We've played eight full. The Marlins on top, three to one. Brian McCann will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. Omar Infante will stick around as he'll take over in right field. Jose Castillo will step in, one for two in the ball game. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Still no home runs in the ball game on either side of the scorecard. Yeah. 
Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first down here in the ninth. Scott Pudsednik will take his first cuts of the ball game here. Cold strike at the letters, 0-1. I don't blame him for taking that. That is some heavy-duty heat right there. Now a ball hit pretty well to the left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. One out, nobody on. Now the pitch. And he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. Now a fastball popped high in the air over toward the right side of the infield. And there's out number two. Cameron Maben will dig in again. He singled home a run his last time. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. And sometimes when you're a leadoff hitter, go ahead and take a pitch. Let your pitcher catch his breath for a second. Now a fastball as this is hit fairly well out toward left center. And it'll wind up hanging just long enough for him to run it down. And with that, the side is retired. Nothing doing here this half. 9-1-2 and two scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. The Marlins lead it 3-1. to one. Ninth inning save situation forthcoming as we'll see the new closer, Kevin Gregg, try to lock this one down. Mark Kotzek will be some of the pinch hit here to start the bottom of the ninth. And remember, they need two to tie, three to win. So he's got his work cut out for him here. Swing and a ball chop foul down the left side. Slider taken here. One ball, one strike. Sometimes you use one pitch to set up another. Let's see if they challenge him here. One and two now. <laughs> Foul back. This is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. So the pinch hitter is retired. Well, this is what you want out of your closer. He comes in firing darts, and it's a very quick out, number one. Josh Anderson will stand in. 0 for 2 thus far.
swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. And that'll find its way into center field for a one-out hit. Matt Diaz will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. And a first pitch slider is right there for strike one. And there's about 40,000 umpires in the house that think otherwise. Come set, now the pitch. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. Shooting for the outside corner, but he missed it one and two. And looking around this place, not too many people have made their way to the exits. Inside for a ball, so he misses with two straight here, and it's back to two and two. And when you're trailing three to one late, it's important to really concentrate and never hit back. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with only one away. Mark Teixeira will step in, one for four in the ball game. Very easy to lay off that one. It's a ball one. Boy, it feels like no one sat down since about the seventh inning. The next pitch. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. But not in time as the run scores and the lead is trimmed to one. Well, those guys in the home dugout apparently still have some life in them. And now, all of a sudden, we've got ourselves a one-run game. Scott Foreman will face a big spot here with the tying run on third and the possible winning run over at first if he can find a gap somewhere. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1-0. Here's the 1 0. That swung on and missed. We're even at 1 and 1. Good idea with the change, but it's 2 and 1. And you can see the more stressed he gets out there, the tighter he grips that baseball. Tying and winning runs on base here with one big out. Lays off the change up and he's ahead in the count now, three and one. And not much room to fool around here. Get ready for a fastball. And that misses ball four. So now the potential winning run moves into scoring position where a single could end this thing. Yunel Escobar will have a shot to be the hero as he's got the possible tying run at third and the winning run at second here. In on the hands a bit with the fastball, it's 1-0. I don't think anyone's taken a breath in the last five minutes. The 1-0 pitch. 2-0. And you've got to throw strikes to this guy, especially with the bases loaded. And he lays off. 
off a pitch just below the knees. It's 3-0. I imagine the red light will be on here. 3-0 with the bases loaded. Tying and winning runs on base here with one big out. Now the 3-0 pitch. Line hard, deep in the left. Base hit. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And the winning run is across to score. So it's a win for the Braves in this one. And Dave, let's back up and check out our new era cap. Heads up, play of the game. Matt, the winning run scores here, and this has been about as entertaining a ball game as we've had in quite a while. Well, let's give you another look at the final play here as he gets pretty good wood on this thing and good enough for extra bases, and certainly good enough to bring home the winning run. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond the call of duty here in this one. He's our upper deck player of the game. Six strong innings, Matt. I was a little surprised they pulled him so soon, but nonetheless, the bullpen did his job and got him the victory. So that brings us to the conclusion of this one. For my colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler and all of us here at the show, this is Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this evening. Once again, our final score, the Braves are winners here, 4-3. to three. This has been a presentation of MLB 08 The Show. For more, log on to MLB08.com. Good night, everybody.